If you say the name Port Lincoln to most Australians, they think of one thing, tuna. And our trip to Port Lincoln wouldn't be complete if we didn't see some of these mighty fish. Just like you, Tim, I'm doing it all up close and personal. And for the record, where I'm going, there are no cages. So you guys have come on a day trip today. Yes, it's a beautiful day. You think you have a swim with the tuna? No, We're just going to watch. it's too no. cold. <laughs> you're just watch it. Oh, you can leave it up to me then. Are you going to swim with them? Yeah, for oh, sure. No, I can't no, wait. Beautiful. I'm very excited. Swimming with the tuna take visitors out to their exclusive tuna pens every day from the Port Lincoln Marina. And it doesn't matter how old you are, there's an experience for everyone. Grab the pilchard right on the end of the tail like that. You're going to lean out. Those the pilchard touches the water, your fingers stay out of the water, OK? Just like that. Tuna. Well, we've got 60 fish in there, Brooke. You've been swimming with them. We've been operating since December the 18th and we've taken 5,000 people. 5,000? That's fantastic. Mm. Yep. And I'm one of 5,000. How do you think I went today? You went okay. Um, I do believe you had a little incident, Brooke. Tell us about it. Um, yeah, I, got, I think I got hit in the head at some stage. Can I let you it's in right. on a secret? What? The crew actually put a pilchard in your head and that's why they went oh. for your head. Not happy. Not happy. <laughs> did you have fun? I did. So how many people get hit in the head by the tuna? You're the second. The second out yeah, of 5,000. So oh, you're good. in an elite club there. Of yeah. course. And there's a whole range of people here today enjoying themselves. Well, it's good because we've got the little centre pool where there's the gentle fish. We've got the underwater observatory where you can stay dry and yep. look at the fish and the tuna. Um, and then we've got the touch pond where there's starfish, sea urchin. Well, I've enjoyed it today. I think the tuna won, but that's OK. <laughs> Come back for round two and we'll get the tuna doing a breaststroke. If you want more info on today's show, or you're thinking about getting out there yourself, everything you need is on our website. So go to discoverdownunder.com.au. Once you've logged on, answer a simple question about today's show, and you could win a subscription to Caravan World or Camper Trailer Australia magazine, top tourist park vouchers to the value of $500, and a Waco icebox courtesy of Dometic. Sadly, Brooke, that's all the time we have for this week's show. But next week we head to the gorgeous sapphire coast of New South Wales. Oh, I can hardly wait. But don't forget the sunscreen. I've already packed it, so make sure you join us then when we hook up and discover somewhere, somewhere new, new down, down under. under. I can hardly wait. It's going to be great. Oh, surf beaches. Surf. Oh, you love the surf. I do. Oh. We're going to be swimming. Oh, I'm going to miss you, though. It's pretty nice. It's nice. We'll be back. Mm. And Come you got back. hit in the head with a, a pilchard. <laughs> <laughs> and pretty... a tuna. Bye.